The next property we're going to talk about is the distributive property. Now, the distributive property is not really used until sixth grade, sometimes in fifth grade, depending on the teacher, but it's in a very basic form in fifth grade. But it is a foundational concept for algebra. Now, the distributive property does cover two operations at a time. So it's either going to be multiplication and addition or multiplication and subtraction. And so the rule tells us A times the quantity B plus C is equal to A times B plus A times C. So we're distributing the number that's on the outside of the parentheses to the two numbers that are inside the parentheses. So for example, if I have eight times the quantity two plus nine, it's going to be the same thing as eight times two plus eight times nine. Now, here on the left side, according to order of operations, we would have to add two and nine first and get 11. And so I would have eight times 11, which gives me 88. Now, using the distributive property, we would first multiply 8 times 2, which gives us 16, plus 8 times 9 is 72. And if we add 16 and 72, we'll get 88. Notice, vertically, we did this according to order of operations. Here, vertically, we did it according to the distributive property. So we have two products, and then we add those two products together. But if you notice, both ways we get 88. So that's using addition. Let's try an example where they use subtraction. So in this case, if we use subtraction with the distributive property, what we would have is a times the quantity of B minus C. And that gives us A times B minus A times C. So we're going to use some values for A, B, and C. And in this case, let's say we use 7 times the quantity of 10 minus 4. Okay? Now, according to order of operations, we would subtract what's in parentheses first. So I would get seven times six. Seven times six is 42. Okay. Now, if we do this according to the distributive property, then what we would get is seven times 10 minus seven times four. Okay. Well, seven times 10 is 70. Seven times four is 28. And in actuality, if we take 70 minus 28, we will still get 42. Okay, so notice once again, if we read it horizontally, we get the same values. What's on the left side of the equal sign has the same value as what's on the right side of the equal sign. Now, the distributive property is typically used as a means of helping the lower level students or, or in, in sixth grade, the basic forms of algebra, it helps students find larger products, okay? So as you get into algebra, it goes a little deeper and it's something that they use uh, on a much higher level. But this is the distributive property. And once again, all we're doing is we're taking the quantity outside of the parentheses and we're distributing it to whatever quantities are inside the parentheses. You may see some cases where there are more than two numbers inside the parentheses, but that is the distributive property.